Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all the books that I read in October. I recorded this video kind of odd because I was going to include it in a vlog but then it turned out a little too long so I wanted to share with you the books I have read. Make sure to subscribe to see more book content from me and just like vloggy style entrepreneur type deal. Let's get into the books that I read. So I am back. I randomly put on eye makeup which I haven't done in forever. I just ate so much food and I am so full but I wanted to show you guys the books that I read in October, my October lineup or whatever people call it. So I am almost done with a book and I should finish it today so I'm gonna count October as nine books read which is so impressive. Like who am I? All the books that I read, I did not read physical books. I do have one of them as a physical book, but I decided to listen to it instead. Or most of the time, I like to have a book and an audiobook at the same time. So when I'm driving or cleaning or doing anything that involves, like, I can't look at something. I like to have an audiobook. I've either been listening to audiobooks on the Kindle Unlimited. They have some free audiobooks. Its selection is pretty slim, but I liked that there was a couple and I just got a subscription to Scribd and they have so many audiobooks. Oh, I also was using credits on Audible that I just had stacked up from I don't even know what. I don't pay for Audible, but I was using those as well. So, Let's get into the first two books that I read. I read the first one in the very end of September and then I had to listen to the next two. I listened to them really fast, but the first one, these are all my iPad. First one is The Takeover by T.L. Swan. And the second one is The Casanova by T.L. Swan. And I thought both of these books were awesome. <laughs> it's like a billionaire or mil I don't know how much money they have. A lot of money. They have um, billionaire romance type situation. And they're just fun to listen to. Like the takeover was interesting because it was like an older woman. Like she had three kids already. And I feel like most of the books I'm reading, they're like 18 year olds. So it was refreshing to have like a different dynamic going on. Highly recommend. I gave The Takeover four stars and The Casanova five stars. I feel like it should be a 4.5 but you know whatever. The next book I listened to on Audible I thought it was okay. It is Archer's Voice. If you can see that it's like a different cover than the blue one that you normally see. It's by Mia Sheridan. I'm sure you've heard of this book. It was okay for me, like I didn't find it to be anything too over the top. Yeah, I don't have much to say about it. It was fine. I gave it four stars. By the way, when I read books, I have a really hard time remembering anything about them, so bear with me. Next one was the book Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie. I listened to this one on Audible as well. It was pretty good. I bought the next book Ricochet and I'm curious to read it. I gave it a four stars. The next book I actually read physically but I am too lazy to go get it right now but it is The Mistake by L. Kennedy and you know I thought it was okay. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I don't know how to read books. Um, but it was just, it wasn't as good as the first one, The Deal, of course, I'm sure you've heard of this, but I do have the next two, like three and four, so I will be reading those at some point. It was just another hockey romance situation. Next, I read Layla by Colleen Hoover. I can't have a month without reading a Colleen Hoover book. This book I have physically, and I decided to listen to it on Kindle Unlimited because it was for free with my Kindle Unlimited subscription. So I listened to it. It was read by a man because it's mostly in the man's perspective. I think it's all in the man's perspective. But it was perfect for fall. It was like a ghost, ghost story and a romance story. And there's a little plot twist in it. So if you like plot twists and you like Colleen Hoover, go read it. It wasn't my favorite Colleen Hoover book, but I did give it a four stars because 
I think she automatically gets a four stars just in general from me. The next books I have been getting into this world, going in deep, is the Zodiac Academy, the first one, The Awakening. And the one I'm gonna finish today is the Zodiac Academy, Ruthless Fae. So I blasted through Zodiac Academy 1. I'm reading it on my Kindle Unlimited because I went to Barnes & Noble and I was like, I'm going to buy the Zodiac Academy book because Barnes & Noble has it on their book talk sh shelf situation. And I decided that I didn't want to spend like the $20 when I could have it for free on my Kindle. So I've been reading that. It's not too spicy at all it's kind of just like a, a story and there's a it's like a bully situation and sometimes those type of stories kind of like push me away but I I kept with it and now I'm sucked in and I'm almost done with the second book so yeah so that is my October wrap-up that's what everyone calls it October wrap-up not lineup that would be for the month and I'm excited to see what I read in November. It's like always a mystery. I have so many physical books to read, obviously. But I always decide to pick up my Kindle because it's like, I can't help myself. They are free, you know? Like I see them on Book Talk or something and I'm like, I can't not, I can't not read them. I think one of the next ones I'm gonna read is The Kiss Quotient. Even though this is really small words. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the books that I read in October. I know I'm so bad at um, rating them and reviewing. I'm going to get better. I'm still learning. That was never my strong suit in school, but I do love reading, so at least I have that on my side. <laughs> so let me know in the comments what books you read this month. I would love to hear and Make sure to subscribe to see any more book content slash vlog style entrepreneur business stuff from me right here. So I will catch you guys in the next video and I hope you have a great day. Bye!